Hello everybody, my name is Derek. It is Good Friday, the 2nd of April, 2010. And uh, Toronto, the records of weather are being exploded. It's about, they say it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and it's about 7.35 p.m. Eastern time, and it's 72 degrees. I remember as a child going down to Disney World and seeing Epcot Center and all of the images of Canada, the Eskimos, the snow, the glaciers, the mountains with more snow on it. Some people even said that snow always is in Canada. Well, no snow in November, no snow in March, and the temperatures are changing. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts on the 2nd of April, and it's almost 8 o'clock at nighttime. 8 o'clock, and it's still beautiful. California, Arizona, 60 degrees, or lower, well, around 60 cold up by uh, at the I think it's cold in Vancouver so I was told but the temperatures the weather are, is going through major changes no snow in November and in March that does not make sense for the Toronto area in fact the records were shattered it was 75 degrees today the previous record was like 66 or 68 for the first four days of April we haven't had a 78 degree day in, in Toronto since the 15th of April, a long time ago. And this could happen on Saturday. The temperatures are supposed to get really hot again. They talk about different climate changes that are going on. Well, it's changing. It's totally changing. What do you call it? Global warming. It's tough to say it's global warming when you live in areas where it's colding. Holding a word, I don't know, cooling. But I'm now at the point where if I see weather that is normal, it's going to be abnormal to me. It almost seems like easy, elementary, evident, like definite that over the next 12, 16 months, if I record or if I continue to document the weather, it's going to keep being like this at least at higher paces. If we have our regular day, regular summer with a couple or three, four thunderstorms and maybe a cold day or two, that would surprise me because that's what we normally have. If it's hot for four or five weeks straight, that now doesn't surprise me. Or six straight weeks of 20 and 18 degrees Celsius days. Once again, that would not surprise me. Where before it would. What does your local area have for uh, some weird, different temperatures? What are you noticing? I'd especially like to hear from diff or hear, uh, different changes outside of North America towards Australia, New Zealand, South America, Egypt, Africa, uh, Europe, Russia. Thank you for watching and have yourself an amazing, fantastic holiday weekend. Bye bye, everyone.